Software is dominating the world. As more and better software is needed, tools that make software developers productive are becoming extremely important. The conventional way of building developer tools is based on precise logical reasoning, which is very successful, for example, in compilers. However, many interesting program analysis problems cannot be properly addressed by traditional tools. One reason is that these tools don't reason about coding conventions or natural language information embedded in source code. Recently, an alternative way of creating developer tools has emerged, which is called neural software analysis. Neural software analysis exploits the fact that software is written by humans, which is why it follows regular patterns and conventions. Given the success of deep neural networks at reasoning about such regularities in other domains, we were wondering whether one should consider also software as data for machine learning. The effectiveness of neural software analysis on various problems answers this question with a strong yes. Neural software analysis complements, or even outperforms, traditional analysis on various tasks. There are many examples of neural software analyses that me and others in the community have been working on. One analysis finds bugs by learning from the identifier names that developers are using. Another analysis learns how to predict types for dynamically typed languages such as Python, which is incredibly useful to annotate an already existing code base. Yet another analysis is about predicting code while developers are writing this code. Some of these analyses are already used in industrial practice, where they help address challenging software development problems. Many neural software analyses are based on similar components. We have created a conceptual framework that shows how different analyses are typically built from these components. Of course, neural software analysis is no silver bullet. It should be used when traditional techniques are facing difficulties. We define criteria when to use or not use neural software analysis based on how fuzzy the available information is, whether there exists a well-defined correctness criterion, and how much data is available to learn from. There are still many interesting research challenges waiting to be addressed. How to obtain high-quality training data. How to better understand the way neural models reason about code. And how to integrate traditional and neural software analysis. By learning from existing software, neural software analysis turns the problem that code bases are growing both in size and complexity into an important part of the solution by simply learning from these code bases. Neural software analysis is joint work by Michael Pradel from the University of Stuttgart and Satish Chandra from Facebook. Learn more in the January 2022 issue of Communications of the ACM.